Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new math lesson. We are in topic four, lesson seven, explain subtraction strategies. Remember, for this lesson, we cover different ways to subtract. We can use the 100 chart, we can use um, the 10 frames, we can use a open number line, or we can even use a graph. So. Choose a strategy to solve the problem. Jeff has 12 apples. He gives away six apples. How many apples are left? Use words, objects, or pictures to explain your work. So we can do, um, for example, think addition to subtract. That's when you have your uh, graph and you have your total. You have one side and you look for the other missing add -in. Or we can make a 10 to subtract using the 10 frames or using the open um, or the number line. You can use different ways to solve subtraction facts. You can count on or back to solve other subtraction facts. Start at 10 on the number line and count back to subtract 10 minus 3. So we landed on 7. So 10 minus 3, count 3 steps because it's 3. So 3 steps backward where we land on 7. 10 minus 3 equals 7. 10 minus 3 equals 7. Let's try another way to solve a subtraction fact. You can make 10 to subtract 12 minus 8. There are 12 counters. How many should you take away to make 10? I have two 10 frames. I have one with 10 counters and two in a second. So we need to take two in order to make 10. You should take away two counters to make 10. How many more counters should you take away to solve the problem? Think about this question as you do the activity that comes next. So I know that I took two, but I need to subtract eight. So eight, I took two from the eight, that means six. So I need to take six more. So if I take six more counters, one, two, three, four, five, six, that will leave me with four counters. You should take away six more counters because two plus six equals eight. 12 minus 8 equals 4. You can think addition to subtract 14 minus 6. What related addition sentence can you write for 14 minus 6? You're asking yourself, 6 plus what give you 14? So that's when we say think addition to subtract. What is the missing part? The second add-in that I added to give me the total, which is eight. Eight is the missing part. Six plus eight equals 14. So that means that 14 minus six equals eight. Now you know different ways to solve subtraction facts. Count, make 10, and think addition. There's more than one way to subtract, and that's a fact. Mm -hmm. So, when we have our practice, we can choose either count. So you have your uh, number line, you put your numbers, and then you, let, you start from the big number and count backward how many uh, number or how many counts you need to take away or subtract. 
or we can do that, make it 10. So we use a 10 frames and we try to make 10 first and then see how many counters would be left or think addition by using that graph or that bar graph that I have um, to, to have it to see which addend is missing. What do we have the information and uh, which addend missing, which think addition to subtract, okay? So let's go for page 186. Find each difference, be ready to tell how you solve. So you need to say which method or which strategies you will use. For example, 15 minus nine. So we can use here, think addition. You can use, draw the graph. I know that I have 15 here. And I know that I have nine on one side or one part. So I'm looking for that missing part. So I'm saying nine plus what? Give me 15. All right. So nine plus six equals 15. Let's go for the second one. Now you have nine minus seven. We can use the easiest way, just simple one that either you can uh, draw or we can count backwards. So let's see if I decided to count, I um, have my number line and I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, more, seven, eight, one more, nine. Now I'm looking at my equation, nine, take away seven. So I'm starting with nine, take away seven. That's mean I'm counting seven counts. So I'm starting from here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, landed two. So nine take away seven equal two. Very good. Well, let's see what we have now. 13 take away three. For this one, I think doing um, that you can make the 10. So we can have the 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five. And I have 13, so let me use different color. One, two, three, four, five. So that's my 10 frame. I'm filling all my 10. Right, then I need to do the second 10 frame to put, yes, to put three more. Okay. So 13 take away three. This one is easy. I can just take using the 10 frame so I can just take three, so I x three or cross three counters, that leave me with 10. So 13 take away three equals 10. Over here, I can use this strategy again. I say 17, that's my total. I know one part is eight. And I'm missing this part. So I'm asking myself, eight plus what equals 17? I think addition to subtract. Very good, eight plus nine. So the answer is nine. My missing part was nine. So eight plus nine equals 17, or 17 take away eight equals nine. Okay, first graders. I'll leave you with the rest of the activity. Enjoy it and have fun.
Thank you. Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new math lesson. Please get your book ready, page 189, topic for lesson eight, and let's start. Some books are on a shelf. Aiden puts four more books on the shelf. Now there are 12 books. How many books were on the shelf to start? So for this lesson, we're going to solve more problems with facts 220. So let's see what we have. Aiden puts four more books. He has some books on the shelves. We don't know how many. He add more. How many he add? Four. Now total are 12. So I know that. Total, he has 12 books on a shelf. He had some before, but then he had four more. So I know that they're missing part here. I can say 12, the total, and one part I know, I need to know how many books were on a shelf before Aiden add this four. We can say 12, take away four equals, very good, eight. So Aiden now has 12 books on a shelf after he added four because first he put eight books on a shelf, okay? Let's see what we have. Hunter has some pencils. He gives six of them to Margot. Now Hunter has five pencils. How many pencils did Hunter start with? Let's look at one way to solve this problem. What are you asked to find? You are asked to find how many pencils Hunter had in the beginning. What do you already know? You know that he gave Margot six pencils and that he had five in the end. Should Hunter have more or less than five pencils in the beginning of the story? Select your answer. Well, if he has now five left and he gave his friend six, that's mean he had more than five. More, because he gave some away and now he has five. How can you tell if you need to use addition or subtraction to solve this problem? Since Hunter started with more, you have to add to find out how many he had in the beginning. You can write an equation to show the problem. Hunter starts with some pencils. He gives six pencils away. He has five left. Minus six equals five. You can think addition to subtract. Five plus six equals 11. How does five plus six equals 11 help you find? Minus six equals five. When I add five plus six, I know that how many he has in the beginning because I know that he gave away six and he has five left. That means he had the total of what he has now and what he gave to his friends, which is 11. You know five and six make 11. You also know from the subtraction problem that one part of the starting number is five and the other part is six. So the starting number of pencils must be 11. 5 plus 6 equals 11, so 11 minus 6 equals 5. Hunter starts with 11 pencils. Now you know how to write an equation to show the problem. All right, let's see the independent practice we have in the guided practice. Write an equation to match the story and solve. Draw a picture to help. Cal rides his bike on Monday. He rides eight miles on Tuesday. He rides 14 miles in all. 
how many miles did car rides on Monday? So all, all the miles he's been riding were 18 miles. I know it, this is the number of the miles that he uh, rode his bike on Tuesday. Now, what I miss is how many miles did he have or did he ride on Monday? So something plus eight equals 14. So the number of the miles on Monday plus the numbers of the miles on Tuesday give me the total of the miles. So I can use my drawing and I can say that the total of the miles 14, I know that one day he was riding his bike for some number that I don't know, I don't know, and the next day was eight. So something plus eight equals 14, or 14 take away eight, give me that missing number. Very good, six. So that's mean. Calor Monday, he rode his bike for six miles, and on Tuesday, he he rode his bike for eight miles. So six and eight, Monday and Tuesday, six plus eight, give me the total of the miles, which is 14. All right, let's do one more from the independent practice. Okay, page 191. Maggie wrote nine pages of a story yesterday. She writes some more pages today. She writes 15 pages in all. How many pages did Maggie write today? So I know the total, 15. And I know that one day she wrote nine. I need to know, which is yesterday, I need to know how many did she write today. So I can start putting my information. So I know that she wrote nine. And I know that the total of the pages she wrote was 15. So I'm looking for what she wrote first, the nine, plus what she wrote today to give me 15. So nine plus something equals 15. So I'm gonna write here. I'm gonna use my addition. And I know nine plus very good, six. So nine plus six equals fifteen. So I know that she wrote nine pages yesterday, and I know that she wrote six today because the total of the pages that um, she wrote was 15. You can also draw if you like. That will always help you to find the missing number. I know total 15 pages. I know that one day yesterday she wrote nine. Now I'm looking for what she wrote today. All right, so that's the part we were looking for. And that's the six. All right, first readers. That's it for today's lesson. I leave you to have fun and enjoy the rest of the activities. Super easy. Always draw a picture, help you to get your uh, equation right. Thank you. Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new math lesson. We are still on topic four, lesson nine. That would be the last lesson for this topic. So please open your book, page 193. Let's see what we have. Today's lesson is use reasoning to write and solve problem stories. Okay. Write a number story for 14 minus 8. Then write an equation to match your story. So we're going to be a creative today and we're going to write a story. And these are the equation and the numbers. So our story should match what we have here. 
we need to have a story that 14 minus eight is part of it. So let's see, what can we say? Let's say Mona um, has 14 hat. Um, she gave Give away eight hats to mm, her friend Lila. Right? So, how many? How many hats does um, Mona have left? Oh, what happened? Okay, let's write as fourteen at two way eight. Now, how many has? Does Mona have left? So this is my 14 and eight. Now I know that it's equation. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna write my equation, 14, that's what she has. And then minus, that's what she gave away, eight. And I need to get my difference. So here. So 14 minus eight. I can use any style or strategy in solving this problem. I can draw. And I see that there's 14 total. She gave away eight. Now I'm looking for this number. So 14 take away eight or Eight plus what give you 14? Six, so that's my answer here. All right, so she gave her friend six hats. Okay, let's see what we have. Write a number story for five plus seven. Then write an equation to match your story. A number story tells how the equation works. Look at the problem. What kind of story will you write? An addition story or a subtraction story? Select your answer. Addition story, because I see. You will write an addition story. How can you show what the numbers and symbols mean? Think about what 5, 7, and the symbol mean in the problem. You can use that to write a story. What does the symbol mean? It is the plus sign, and it means that you are going to add. What numbers will you add in this problem? You will add 5 and 7. What kind of number story can you write? You can write a problem about joining or a problem about two parts of a whole. Lee sees five bugs in her garden. Then seven more bugs fly in. 
How many bugs does Lee see in all? Lee sees 12 bugs in all. There were five bugs and seven more bugs came. So, you add. Is this the only story problem for 5 plus 7 equals 12? Select your answer. No, there are other stories you could tell for this equation. So. 5 plus 7 equals 12. Lee sees 12 bugs. How could you check the story? You can see if the number story matches the equation 5 plus 7 equals 12. Now you know how to write a number story and write an equation that matches your story. All right, as we see for this lesson, you are the one who's going to write the story. So you're going to write the word and the sentence that should be matching the symbol that you see. So in this equation, we see 5 plus 7. So that's mean my sum will be more and that be more addition or something add or join. So that's when we say Lee sees five bugs in her gar garden, then seven more bugs fly in. So seven more join the five. So how many bugs does Lee has or she in all? That's mean five plus seven, all right? Let's see the guide of practice. Complete the number story, then complete the equation to match the story. Draw a picture to help. So what we have here, 17 minus nine. That's mean the story should follow the symbol here, which is subtraction or minus. So something I'm gonna give away or I'm gonna lose or if it's birds will fly away. So let's see, Carlos has 17 dog treats. Tom has nine dog treats. How many more treats does Carlos have? So I see that one have a number 17 and the other friend has another number. Now I need to get the difference. We know when we hear the word difference means subtraction. So I have 17, that's with Carlos and nine with Tom. So I know that Carlos has more than Tom, but I wanna know how many. So 17, take away nine. So you can do any, um, any strategy to subtraction. You can, you to subtract, you can do the number line. So you put 17 and you count backward nine, or you can use the 10 frame to make 10, or you can use the drawing graph so you know that i have i know that one of the friends have 17 the other friend has nine now i need to know the difference to find out how many more carlos have than um tom so 17 take away nine or nine plus what give me 17 so i know my numbers so i know can count i know my doubles and that's near double so it's Eight. So nine plus eight equal 17. All right. So again, this, this uh, lesson is super easy. All what you do, you need to write a number story to show the problem. So you're going to write uh, a story and using um, the numbers that provided, and you're going to look at the symbol. If the symbol subtraction, so your problem need to lead and show that you're going to subtract. If it's addition, that's mean joining, you get more. So that's when you're going to add for um, the equation. All right. So I'll leave you with the rest of the activity, first graders. That was the last lesson for this topic. See you on the next video and a new topic. Thank you.